Well, I've been seeing a lot of you guys lately, haven't I? You just waking up? Look how stout they are. You are stout. So this isn't a pig. This is not a pig video today. It's a pig fence pen building video today. We're going to do, my father-in-law's meet me out here in just a little bit, and we're going to start working on the H braces and getting them up. Um, that way we can get the fence stretched. So today's goal is to get all the braces set up all the way around the pen, and then the next time we work on it, we'll be pulling, um, we'll be pulling the, the fence itself. This is what I got. Check this out. So there's the fencing that we're going to be using. It's, I think it's two by four, uh, 48 inches tall uh, horse fence. You could put chickens and stuff in there. And then we're going to be using these in between for the H braces. And uh, I brought some other, bought some other materials. Um, I, bought, I bought some wire and stuff that we could stretch across and do it right. Because at our farmhouse, when I did all the fencing, I didn't necessarily do the H bracing um, the way it should be done um, because it, it, it leans quite a bit. And the, the reason we're doing it this way, because we don't want it to lean. We want this to last for a long, long time. We want to do it right the first time and uh, keep these pigs in here. And then when the pigs are gone, maybe we can get a steer or something in here and just kind of use this as an all-purpose pin. So that's the goal. That's the goal. This is a pretty good-sized little pin. Um, we can actually cut this up into sections using the um, electric field, um, electric hog uh fence right here we got from premier one and we got some uh, netting goat netting stuff like that we could use too so if we wanted to i could actually put this into several different, different sections for sure what do y'all think you ready to get get out of the electri electrified fence and get into the big one I bet you are so i brought the ranger um with me today that way we don't have to lug around all the material i could just put it in the back and drive around that's just one of the things all-purpose uh, vehicle that we can make make it life a little bit easier on us so i'll go ahead and unload it get the material loaded up and then when we come back we'll start working on the fence Okay, so we got one of these H's done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we did it. And um, the next one, I'm actually gonna show you doing it, but we're gonna do it a different way. I'll walk down there and I'll explain it more to you once we get going. Um, but I'm gonna show you this way. I've seen people do, I've seen people do it this way quite a bit, but Randy has come up with something that he thinks will work, maybe work better. And we're gonna try it and see what we think. So here's the first one we got done. Um, we'll come back and we're gonna make all these top post uh, level um, with whatever ones we do right here. But this is how we did it we got these uh, i don't know the exact terminology for for these but all it is it's, it's um, wired tensioner it tightens it down and we went from up top right here all the way down here you can see we got stapled in right there so we went from there to there because we're going to be pulling the fence and this connect this will keep this from leaning this right here will keep this from leaning and um, we hooked it up just like that we're going i'm going to put another one of these um, clamps down on here and uh, you get to see how we did that and I just tightened it pretty dang tight And I've seen a lot of people do it this way. There's several different ways you can do this exact kind of setup This is the way that we've done this one. But we're gonna try a different one here in just a minute But we got this nice and level We got a nail Driven through there That goes through here and the same with over here And I'm, I'm gonna show you how we did how we did this part down there so I like I like this setup, but if the way Randy wants to do the next one, if it works, um, it's going to save us half the wire. 
and that's good because I only got 50 foot and we need about 70 foot <laughs> so if we can do that um, it's gonna save money and um, wire like I said so let's walk down there and get busy on this next one so so we're working on this one right here and then we'll, I'm gonna set the camera up and just show you doing it once we get it done we'll go over everything again what what are y'all doing they were taking a nap right there see that big hole they're all four just laying right there Some pig just looking at us. Perfect. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna knelt we I couldn't find the long um what'd you call them, Randy? The stakes, the What was that? Landscaping stakes? I couldn't find the longer ones. This is literally all they had and it's the exact same size as this. So what we, what we did on the last one, we're going to nail the end there pretty good ways and then we're going to cut the end of it off and then we'll stick our post up there. Just a little uneven cut. I don't have a little, what'd you call a little wedge or whatever? Or a punch. Punch. So we're using my screwdriver. Coming through. All right, hang on. Yep. Here, we'll pull this. Okay, there you go. Come on, there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Going? I think so. Yeah, sure is. Uh, 
Okay, so we got the H set up, and now we're gonna do this little loop-de-doop thing Randy came up with. But I don't know if you came up with it, Randy. I think you was watching YouTube last night and you found it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he wants to do a loop like this, and we'll loop it around here. We'll have it coming down right here and do the same thing coming up, right? Yes. And then we'll use that tensioner. Still sell them, okay. Some places they still sell them, not tax us apart. What we'll do, we'll just put one on it. And then when you get more, you put the double up. Because yeah. you do need double up yeah. all of them there. <laughs> Sharpest knife right now. Well, well you'll get mine. <laughs> I'll cut the blade off that way. <laughs> yeah, I bet it will. <clears throat> that up and every year. All right, now let's try it. One more, keep going. All right, one more, a little bit more. One more. Okay. Oh, that's goodness. pretty tight. Time for a drink. It is. <laughs> it is. So you can see, I'll walk down and show you the other one, but this is, I like this better. And that's what you were trying to explain to me earlier. You get a more even pull too right. in the center. Right. And I actually haven't seen anyone do this. Doesn't mean they haven't. We just, I never came across a video. This makes more sense to me. What about you? I think so. So we got an even pull right down the center of the post instead of one side pulling to the other, like down there. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that's what we got so far. To me, that actually makes more sense. So all you fence guys that have been doing this for a long time, leave us some good comments down below. Tell us if you've done both ways, which one you prefer. Um, I think both ways work, obviously. I like that way down there better. You can see it. Same concept, but what we're talking about, this is pulling on one side. I don't know how much of a difference that makes, but other than that, you're still saving half the wire too. I like that. They're wore out from watching us, I think. Oh, Randy, look at there's four slabs of bacon. <laughs> so we got this corner one done down here. And we're doing the rest of them just like this. We like that the best. Okay. Now we're going to finish that one down there.
Okay, so this may surprise you all who have been watching me build this pig pen. Um, I always say I'm going to try to do this, this, and that. And I usually get about three quarters of it done. Well, today, me and Randy got all of it done. It doesn't seem like a lot, probably on camera, but it was as time-consuming um, to do each piece like we did. And uh, we got it done. We got all the corners done. Uh, so now we're ready to start stretching the fence. Um, I look for, actually went and looked for a filled fence stretcher. You guys know what that is just look it up we can build one out of two by fours it wouldn't be that big of a deal but i like to get a good one that i can just have on hand because we're going to be putting a lot of fences up in the future and i'm probably going to try to use the same fencing the filled um horse horse fence two by four it's really good stuff it's a little bit more expensive but it's the stuff that you can put any animal in chickens uh, pigs anything so i can walk around and show you guys real quick what we got done um, one thing I did notice we had to run in town and get some more supplies earlier and kind of just looking at old fences people old farmers have done um, I've seen a lot of them do it the way we did the first one um, you don't see anything like this and what they did on the first one they would come above that's why they had two strands they come up just just above this and the two strands would split and go all the way down but this this does the same thing it's keeping I don't really want to try to explain it to you but it's keeping this uh, pulled this way so when we pull the fence that way it won't it won't all shift and all that so this is this is going to work just uh just fine how we did it um but any of you guys that uh, do a lot of this let us let me know if you've ever done it this way so now we just gotta all we lack is finishing up i guess you might say um, but we got all the corners done you can see here got all those done and we'll walk down here the pigs are going they're in a different napping spot now they've been napping right over here you see they got their own little favorite little spot over here behind this tree they were there most of the day i've been out here we've been out here all pretty much all morning and afternoon going into evening time they've been right there most of the time you see here's the other corners we got and down here we just got the singles we'll have a 12 foot gate right there in this opening so I can get a tractor in here or whatever, you know, plenty big enough to get any piece of equipment I'm going to have inside here. This is what I was talking about earlier. The double the ones I've seen on the road, they put about right here, put it higher than that and go and it split this. That's why they did two all the way down and they actually like wrapped it or whatever they did. But these things are so sturdy. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> That's funny just sitting there watching. It's funny because it's funny because what's one of them gets up. If you just noticed, they're all laying over there. One gets up, it comes over and eats. I promise you, they're all gonna follow right over there and start eating too. That one's already making its way over there. It's like it's a competition. That's why you always raise at least two because they they compete for food and they grow faster. Now they're actually just coming over here to think I got food for them. I ain't got nothing for you guys. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. We just want to see one of y'all take a take a dive into the little pond. Look at that one. Look, it's like, oh, what I miss? What I miss? You didn't miss nothing. <laughs> oh. So good. We're that much closer to getting wrapping up this pig fence, um, pig pen, you might say. Um, I think I've been thinking about it. Once we get this done, I may go ahead and leave them in here once we get the fence up and the gates up leave them in here for the time being because i want to um after we get everything set up i want to i want to set up the uh, little corral uh, set up right here we're gonna have a four foot gate right there but i like to get this done before i release them in there so it's not hurting anything to leave them in that but if we got everything closed up then i don't i definitely don't have to worry about them um, but we're going to be living out here pretty soon anyways so it's just one of them things but i definitely want to get the little alleyway corral done um, before I release them to this big area. So that'll be that'll be in the future. So they may end up staying right in that little spot for a while. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna get off here. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I know it's Memorial weekend. I know it's Memorial weekend. So I hope you guys hope you enjoyed it with your family. Um, got to go maybe go visit some loved ones that have passed. Um, yeah, it's, it's just one of them weekends. This is this is a tough weekend for for a lot of people, and uh, myself included. I mean, it's uh, what you, you you got the lost uh, family members um, on your mind, lost friends and stuff like that. So 
yeah, it's just one of them things. So hope you guys hope you guys had a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed your time together with your family while you still while you still have it. Because um, like you know, we we may we may not be here tomorrow. You just don't ever know. So love you guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Thanks for watching me and Randy do some work out here today. Big shout out to Randy for the help. Um, it was it was a lot of work. It doesn't look like a lot. I don't think on the camera, but it was a lot. It was time consuming, and um, it was actually it was it was cool enough today where I got to wear my flannel all day long, and that's kind of rare for almost June in Oklahoma. It feels really nice out here. So that's all I got for you guys. Love you guys. Catch you on next video. Thanks for watching.